Hi Fox, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to more TC 2019 and the course we're going to be playing today is called Lost Wages Casino, Wild Hawk Downs and it is by one of my favourite designers, Mr. D-Dog Jensen. So as you can see, the fair is a firm, the green is a firm, the green speed is fast, everything else he has left on default. It is coming in at 7,262 yards. Now, there is another version out there. According to his post, it published wrong and is a par 71. Uh, the one you want to play is the par 72 course. So if you look for Wild Hawk Downs, you'll see two courses. So we'll pick the one that is a par 72. So as I said, going off the gold tees at 7,262 yards. Pin set number one. And let's get going. Okay, it's a step theme. As you see, I do like the way the, the fairway colours just seem to really pop against this sort of desert uh, step theme. Really, really nice. And I do believe that's a casino complex way up there on the left-hand side. So let's get the old sky cam up. Oh, and let's have a look. Oh, there's a HB blimp. Tell you what, we shall go up and have a look from our own blimp. <laughs> Okay, so I think there's actually two courses on this plot. Now, I'm sure D-Dog will correct me if I'm wrong, but there's a, a lot of fairways there. And the other one is called, let me just scroll up to have a look. Mad Skunk, I believe. Yep, Lost Wages Casino, Mad Skunk Gulch. And then you've got Lost Wages Casino, Wild Hawk Downs. And I do believe they are on the same plot, I think. <coughs> There's a big green strip there, right in the middle of us. That must be a driving range. So let's get back down and we'll have a quick look around. Down towards the clubhouse here. Ooh, slow down. And we'll have a look at the clubhouse. And you see you've got the crowds out. Oh, a nice big sort of rock feature there at the front of the clubhouse. Let's just sit through here. Oh, there's another one there as well. Okay, good bit of sand work going down the edges of the fairways there as well. It looks like you've got quite a few tee boxes. About one, two, three, four, five sets of tee boxes there. As I said, you can see the big casino over there. Big casino complex. Tell you what, it's a good name for a casino, isn't it? Lost Wages Casino. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, looks pretty nice. I do like the odd desert theme course or step. Uh, I can't remember if there's is there a desert theme and a step theme, or did they change the desert theme to step? I'm not sure, because I don't use a designer at all. As you see, you've got the crowds and out the grandstands. Now, I've just seen a little bit of a waterfall over here. Let's have a quick look at this. That's a nice little waterfall. I like the way it's just sort of cascading over the rocks there. Very nice. <coughs> and there's the, the pool that feeds it there. Might take a screenshot there, that might be my thumbnail. Okay, let's have a look down here, this driving range. Nice big driving range. Massive driving range. <clears throat> now we've got quite a few little bits of water dotted around the course as well. Yeah, I do believe that must be um the mad skunk one over there, probably, I think, maybe. I tell you, it's nice when some of these designers do that. They put them um, two courses on one big plot. Pretty cool. Nice big bridge going across there as well. There's the old cacti. Now, if it's a cactus or cacti, I think it's one cactus. <laughs> it's cactus. And if there's a couple of cactuses, cacti, I think. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, got another big bridge there. I do like the little sort of rocks dotted in the water there. It looks like the sort of wall level has dropped down. And it's just sort of leaving the rocks uncovered there from the water. Very nice. Yeah, as I said, the way the fairway just sort of, the, the fairways, the lush green colour of the fairways. And you've got this sort of dry, arid, sort of rough texture here as well. <clears throat> I 
Okay. Now, I think we have had a little look around. We might jump back down onto the tee and give this a play. Nice sort of planted area. Just around here as well. There's another cactus. Not cacti. Yeah. I bet I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, I do like this water system here, the way he's got it very, very shallow. And you see some of the terrain just popping out there as well. Nice and done. Oh, what was that? A bloody hawk. Let's hope we could have a few of them today. A couple of birdies. Okay, right. I think we shall get onto the tee and we shall get this started. Got a few things to talk about, actually. <clears throat> As you know, this is what, well, this is actually going into Wednesday now, but on Tuesday I was present at the preview event for PGA Tour 2K21. There was quite a few of us there. Now, I do believe they, they actually held two events. I think they did a Europe one and an American one, or a US one. The US, Canada, that sort of thing. Because I didn't see, um, like, Victory Lane Sports and Seamount for Life and all that in the one I was in. It was me, early 1981, quite a few other guys, uh, North 47. But I didn't see any American guys there. So I do believe they might have held actually two different uh, preview events. As I say, one for Europe and one for... I think that was the way it, is, but it was anyway. Okay. Nice little practice screen there. So we're going to go into the tee here. We're going to get started. I'll talk about it as, a, as we're sort of playing anyway. Okay, so what do we have here? Okay, hole one, 411 yards, par four, stroke index six. A little bit of wind coming in from the right hand side, only four miles an hour. Now it's pretty thin down there. The driver, that might actually look a bit tough. Now, what is it, 411? So I might just go with two wood. I should still be able to reach the green. Okay, we got a nice strike there. <coughs> yeah, preview event. Uh, it was really, really good. Uh, it's the first time I've ever used Zoom. Uh, I'll tell you what, that's actually killed Skype, hasn't it? Oh, oh, bloody good that was. It really was. But the preview event was really, really well done. I mean, I can't talk much about until Thursday because we're still under embargo. But yeah, really, really enjoyed it. Okay, what we've got here? 122 yards to the pin. 122 yards carry. Only two miles an hour wind. Very flat lie. Let's put a little bit of loft on that. Oh, sh sugar. Yeah, so, as I said, this is coming in Wednesday now. <clears throat> well, it's a.m. for me. It's one, one o'clock in the morning. Uh, we did get our review code, so I can actually play the game now if I want to. I'm recording this, as I said, on Tuesday, but we're not allowed to show you guys anything until Thursday the 6th is when the embargo lifts. So I will have quite a lot of content out. Uh, so what we've got here, okay, 41 feet, 3 inches up. And the green speed is 178, so it's not too bad, actually. A little bit of a left to right movement. Now, we'll watch turning too much, but that's not a bad, not a bad bag putt. Should hopefully pick up the par there. Yep, so Thursday, I'll start dropping content, and you're probably going to get a lot of streamers over on Twitch as well. Okay, who we got here? That's Paul Casey there, Andrew Putnam, Thomas Peters, Sergio Garcia, Rory McElroy, Matthias Schwab. <clears throat> yeah, I think you should be pleasant and surprised with the, with the gameplay and um, some of the changes they've made. As I said, I can't really say anything just now because of the embargo, but I'm really, really looking forward to playing it. Like I said, I've got the review code there. I've actually installed it. I haven't actually played it yet. What I'm going to do, I'm going to start setting up the video. And I'm going to actually record it from what I see is what you see for the very first time, if you know what I mean. Okay, so hole two, 579 yards, par five, stroke index 16. So we can only go two ways here. Very thin down here, though. And we can go over this side. Just a little bug on the screen. Get off there. 
Uh, I'll leave my window open as it gets quite warm in here, and because it's like night time, <clears throat> it, it probably the lights from the monitors attract the buggers. Right, I'm going to actually go down this side actually. No, I am going to go down this side. It's better angle than the green from here, if we can reach the green in two. So I'm going to aim down this right hand side here. I'm trying to let the wind just draw back in for me. Oh yes, nice. That should work out okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Now also guys, there was a bit of drama on my comment section the other day for one of the courses. Uh, oh, what course was it now? Let me have a quick look. It was... Bugger. Can't remember the name of it. Let me just have a quick look. It was the Como Privatory course. <clears throat> now, I don't mind constructive criticism. Uh, I don't mind constructive criticism on courses. I don't mind constructive criticism of the way I play, but I had to remove one comment from one guy the other day who's just a little bit nasty and got personal. Uh, I, I won't stand for that kind of shite on my um, comment section. And then another time, another one, uh, got into a bit of a little argument because I didn't agree with somebody's opinion. You thought I was being very defensive, which I wasn't. So just I'll let you know, guys, <clears throat> I don't do this for a job. I don't do it for the money. I do it for a bit of fun. I'm not into drama. So anything like that, I, I'm, I'm going to start knocking it on the head. It just doesn't interest me. I do this for fun. You know what I mean? Okay, enough of that. So we've got here 32 yards, four foot down. Eight mile on and against. 71 to 70 percent. That should be fine actually. Just going into the flop here. Oh, sugar. Very fast, but that should be okay actually. Okay, let's see if we can pick up the birdie here. Okay, get the birdie. Nice one. I'll try and sort this swing out a little bit. There's <clears throat> a couple of fasts I've hit already. K hole 3, 212 yards part 3, stroke in next door. Yeah, what I'm probably going to do now, uh, as soon as I finish this course, I'll probably go on to PGA 2, 2K21 and start getting some content ready for you guys for Thursday. You're going to like it, I think, from what I've seen in the preview event anyway. Okay, 221 yards, 30 feet down, so that is playing around about 211. Around about 211, I'll make that. So we're going to stick the 4 iron here. Uh, should be okay, I think, with a four iron. Oh, bloody tempo is all over the place. Now, come on, kick, 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 kick. Oh, yeah, come on. That's just landed just off the fringe. It's going to leave us a little chip and a putt for par. Do you know what? I think I'm a little bit too close to my screen. One second, guys. Okay, that feels a little bit better. Right, let's do a little tiny chip here. Oh yes, and look at that. Move my chair back a little bit, and we bang one in now. Okay, hole four, 457 yards, par four, stroke index eight. Whoa, that was a freaky sort of waypoint there. Now I've seen a few people doing this, I'm not a big fan of it when the waypoint sort of comes back the way and then turns and goes forward. I've seen it quite a few times. I'm just, it's just, I'm not, I'm not really a fan of it. <clears throat> it's a bit disorientating. Right, okay. Ooh, now I'm just going to aim it up here, I think, up this side. Right, come on. There we go. How can I... Driving is just so bloody easy. And then your approach shots, it's when I always hit my fasts and my slows. Okay, 293 yards, so that is not too bad. A little bit of a left to right lie here. Okay, 154, five feet up, so it's going around about 156. Let's just put a tiny touch of down loft on that, just to make sure we get it on the green. Right. 
Again, slow. Yep. Oh, that's going to make it green though, I think. Just on the fringe. <clears throat> I don't think we've had one approach shot yet in four holes. Um, perfect, perfect, I don't think. We'll sort that out, don't worry. So we're going to pick up a par here. I really should, uh, I've said this before, I should really get a put, uh, just jump onto the driving range for five minutes before I uh, do a video, just to get the, the tempo going. Okay, hole five, 118 yards, par four, stroke index 12. Looks like a bit of a turn round to the left here, then downhill towards the green. I think them trees there are probably going to stop us from cutting this corner, maybe. Oh, nicely planted trees that. You know what? I think I'm just going to lay it up here with the. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go with the two wood here. Oh, no! My tempo is terrible. Come on, make it to the fairway. Go on. Oh, ho, 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 just. I probably could have got away with the driver there, to be honest. <clears throat> Okay, 147.12, uh, 11 down, so it's playing around about 143. We're 148, 9 mile an hour wind again, so let's down loft that touch. Come on. There we go, that's better. Oh, could have done with quite a bit of down loft there. That wind held out pretty, quite a lot. Right. 17 feet. Just turn, nice, come on. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I just missed on that left hand edge there. That's another part. <clears throat> okay, 06, 420 yards, par 4, stroke next turn. Oh, bloody hell, earlier on. I mean, I shut down Steam earlier. I don't know what I was doing. I think I was playing Red Dead Redemption. Usually when I play the Red Dead Redemption, it's on its own launch. I shut, I shut down Steam. I shut down other programs that I'm not using. Anyway, I went to go and play this. I, I went to put Steam on, and it kept coming up. Um, can't connect to Steam Network. I was like, what the hell's happened? I, I restarted my computer twice. Did it again. Uh, I did a speed test on the internet. The internet was fine. I was up to almost 300 megabyte uh, download, 35 megabyte upload. That was fine. I checked all like YouTube videos and things like that. Playing absolutely perfect. Tried to start my Steam again. Uh, failed connection to Steam. I was like, oh, bloody hell, what the hell's happened? I'm dying. I want to play PGA 2 2K21 after this. <laughs> Took me about 20 minutes to get the Steam loaded. What I ended up doing was going into my task manager. And there was something already running in there from Steam called Bootstrapper. So I just stopped that through my test manager, tried it again, and it was fine. I was like, bloody hell. Oh, shh. My tempo is terrible. Oh, ho, 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 ho,
Okay, 244, 24 down. So that is playing around about 236-ish, I reckon, with that wind though. The two iron. That's not gonna be enough. I'm gonna to have to go over this, and that's gonna be way too much still, I think. That will probably just make it to the fairway, I reckon. Well, I'm actually going to go with this. Hopefully, it makes it. Oh, look at that. Perfect, perfect. Get up there. Go on. I think it's going to be very short. Yep. <clears throat> I should have went with the other club. Just went over the back of the green. Okay, we're going to go with the uh, flop shot here. And what have we got? 20 yards, 3 feet up. So we'll go with uh, 30 feet. 30 yard carry one. Come on, run up there, run up there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was on 85% power. I did one run about 90, 95% now. But we get the save. Nice pass save that one. A lot long par three is very tough, especially the way the designers do it. They always seem to do it in between club length. Pretty Pretty tough. K hole eight, 596 yards, par five, stroke index eight, 18. So pretty straightforward looking par five, this one. There's them two sort of big stone rock features there on the right hand side. And um, we've got the wind against us as well. Probably wouldn't have reached the green in two anyway. Oh, that's going to be okay. Yeah, so we're just going to have to smack the two it up here. I had a good talk with um, Abercrack Gaming the other day. Um, <clears throat> we're trying to get the skins match sorted out. Now the problem is time zones. I'm in the UK. He's in Australia, and he's nine hours in front of me, and I don't usually play, do my videos until, say, 10 p.m. to 3 4 a.m. in the morning. He's pretty much similar, uh, because of the amount of kids that hang around here during the day. We've got a big sort of green area outside where I live, and because of the amount of kids that sort of run about, that's why I do my videos at night time, because as they run past the door, they, they set the dog off and things like that. And he's pretty much the same, so we're trying to find a, a time that we, we can both sort of get away with and not so much noise in the background, things like that. Okay, right. Do do do. Pitching edge. We've got 44, three feet up. We've got that wind against us there as well, so we go down loft that. Oh, wait, it's a bloody fast. That's a lot of fast of it. Yeah, so it's pretty tough trying to find a time for both of us to get get a, get a nice time to play, if you know what I mean. We'll get there, we'll get there. Drop, yes, nice. <clears throat> Is that a par or a birdie? Oh, it's a birdie, nice one. Didn't even realize what stroke it was on. Too much talking. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, this is the one with the waterfall. Okay, hole 9, 325 yards, par hole, stroke index 14. Okay, two wood, driver. Oh, I'm going to make it right up there, I think. Come on, wind, push that a little bit right for me. Oh, come on, get up. Oh, that's not too bad. She leaves a nice little sort of chip up onto the green. Or a flop shot, actually. 20 yards, 2 feet up. So I'm definitely going to go with a flop shot. And I'm going to put a bit of loft on as well. Oh, perfect, perfect. Hold up, come on, nice. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, it takes me a few holes to get into it if I haven't jumped on and um, hit a few balls on the driving range and things like that. I've had a round beforehand. Okay, hole 10, 390 yards, par 4 stroke index 11. The looks of a slightly going downhill here. Pin looks like it's at the front, but that wind is going to help us quite a bit as well. That wind's going to turn it just a little bit to the right for us, hopefully. Nice big drive. Just under 330 yards. Okay, 53. 12 up, so it's playing round right about 57. We've got 57 yards carry. Oh, get back there. Pitch. So I'm going to put Bit of loft on this. Nice, perfect, perfect again. Hold up. Oh, I didn't think I'd carry that far actually. That amount of loft I put on that. Let me get the next birdie. Nice one. <clears throat> Hold on now. Five under. Yeah, we should catch. Guy right at the top there, hole 11, 573 yards, par 5, stroke index 13. Okay, let's aim down this left hand side, let the wind just bring it back in. Oh, that should be okay. The wind's still going to push it in for us, I think. Just off the mark. That's fine. Not a bad drive, 323 yards, middle of the fairway. And what have we got here? Oh, we can reach. Oh, but that's going to go right over the back. Especially with that wind. That might not make it. But we're going to go with this anyway. Come on, get up there. Oh, you son of a... Damn it. <clears throat> so we're going to be hitting out with the thick stuff here. Yep, only 66 to 73%. Let's try and get a different camera view. That's probably about the best I can get there, actually. Okay, 28 yards, 11 up. So it's playing around about 32. We could put it up to 36. Can I see my swing? I can't. Oh, this is going to be dodgy. <laughs> Got the backswing right, not far off the downswing. Okay. Turn back in, come on. Yes, nice. Now again, is that a par or birdie? I think it was a bird. Yep, another birdie, nice. Okay, hole 12, 420 yards, par 4, stroke, index 9. Right, whoa, big trees placed really well. Can't cut the corner there, so it's a little bit downhill. Two would have probably run out there, so I'm going to go with the two iron. That wind should be okay, that should push it back into the fairway for us. That'll do it. Gives a nice angle into the green. Okay, 132. So it's playing 134. Got a 136 carry. Got that bit of wind out, so get it down loft this just a touch. Okay, we get the perfect, perfect. It's turning nice. That'll do. We should pick up the birdie from there, I hope. <clears throat> Turn. Go on. Yes. Okay, hole 13, 201 yards. Par 3, stroke index 3. Turn a nice looking par 3, this one. 
Okay, that wind actually might help us out here. It might hold the ball up a little bit for us. Okay, 191. Nine feet down, so it's playing around about 188. That's looking pretty good on target. Depends on distance, though. Oh, that's not too bad. That is not too bad. I down off that quite a bit there, just to make sure we got on the green. Okay, four inches down, so it's just going to be a little tap. Well, that's not turning. That's not turning at all. Damn you! <clears throat> now, I was actually thinking of streaming uh, PGA 202 Q21, but on Thursday, you're going to have the G-Dog, Seamount for Life, Victory Lane Sports. Uh, you're going to have quite a lot of the guys that were there today. The European guys, or the American guys as well. There's going to be a lot of people streaming on Thursday. So I think I'll just stick to doing my videos. <laughs> Eventually I do want to start up streaming though. A better way to interact instead of just commentating on the video and have a good laugh with you guys and things like that as well. I also want to start uh, maybe playing a few of these guys also when PGA 202 Q21 comes out. Maybe have a skins match once a week or like a, a Sunday skins match or something like that. Okay, hole 14, 445 yards, par 4, stroke to index 7, but you'll have to be on PC. <laughs> okay. I forgot to shout that out on the tee box. That's why I just shouted it out there. Okay, 155, 14 up. So that is playing almost 160. So we'll down loft it. And I'll tell you what, let's just go up. Maybe 160, 172. And we'll put loft on. Oh, shit. Uh, fast. Damn you. <clears throat> now it's just off to the left hand side of the green, so it's going to lose the chip. Nice little, nice weight to that chip, that absolutely bang on for the distance. That's going to lose a little pup for the par. K hole 1588 yards, par 3, stroke index 5. K that wind's certainly got a bit stronger. K 191, 12 ups, we're playing 195. We'll go with 203 here. I might even down loft it a bit. Okay, get the perfect perfect. It's turning in, not too bad. Oh, not enough though. That's going to leave us one a massive putt, I reckon, and a big right to left slope on it as well. Or should I say turn? <clears throat> oh, yes. Okay, 37 feet. Four inches up. Sorry about that. A bit of a yawn there. <laughs> Getting tired. I might leave PJ to a 2K21 till tomorrow. Okay, 37 and 4 inches up. I'm dying to play it. Right. Ah, nice weight to the putt. Yeah, it's not enough pace on it to try and take out a little bit of a breakout. I should say, summer, take some of that breakout. Okay, hole 16, 475 yards, path or stroke index one, so hardest hole on the course. Here we go. Okay, 12 mile an hour and coming in from the right hand side. Let's try a little bit of fade here. 
It's looking not bad, actually. Oh, ho, ho, ho. just right down the edge of the fairway. That, that worked out pretty good. Okay, 157, 16 down, so it's playing on about what? 152, I reckon. Yeah, right. 160, 148. That should be okay. It's turning nice. Does <clears throat> it turn in enough? Oh, come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, rolled on the green, lovely. That actually worked out okay. Uh oh, no, it's caught a slope. Oh, it stopped. Thank goodness for that. Okay, 14 feet, 5 inches up. Oh! Turned away right at the end. <clears throat> a little bit of pace on that one just to take a bit of a break out. Okay, we're drawing first place here. Um, but we've still got two holes to go. Justin Rose has just come in. Uh, Rory McIlroy still there. Xander Schufle, Paul Casey, John Ram. Oh, 17, 570 yards. Par 5, stroke index 15. And you've got all the tall trees here. That's what that, this hole should be called. The tall trees hole. <laughs> it's just coming to my head from Red Dead Redemption 2. There's an area in Red Dead Redemption 2 called tall trees. <laughs> Since I've seen this, that's the first thing I thought of. Right, now. Oh, that is going to be pretty tough. To try and get to that green. The wind is going to help us a bit, so I'm tr trying to get down to this and play down this left hand side as far as possible. I'm kind of hoping the wind is still going to push it out and just clip the edge of the fairway here. Yep, it has. Nice. <clears throat> That's exactly what I wanted to put it. Mind you, I could have just aimed it right up the edge and put a little bit of a draw on it, and it still wouldn't have run out so much. K251 okay, 13 up, so that is playing around about 254, 255. 225. Oof. I'm gonna have to go right out here though. I might just have to actually fade it in. It's turning nice. It's gonna make it. I don't think it's gonna make it, but nah. Uh, Damn it. That's a tough hole, that, the way them trees are. Okay, 30 yards, no, 25. Move it down, right, okay. <clears throat> 24. Do you know what? I think we'll probably, with the run on the ball, I think the 24 will be fine. Yep, absolutely spot on for distance. No. Oof. I thought that was going to stay straight there. Okay, we take the lead. Nice one. And going on to the final hole. All 18, 331 yards. Pop watch, stroke index 17. What a great looking hole. Nice view. Tell you what, I'm actually going to take a screenshot of this. <coughs> I'll probably use that for my thumb now. That's just a great view off the tee box. I do like that. Okay, settings, put the hood back on. Got 11 mile an hour wind coming in from the right hand side here. Look at that. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. The same, a little bit more to the left here. Oh, that's, that should be good, you know? That's looking good. Nice.
Okay. 29 yards or one foot up. 30 yard carry. Put a bit of loft on it. Get the perfect downswing. Oh, that stopped beautifully. That should leave us a nice little putt for the putt there. Uh, the, for the birdie. Yeah, cool. And that'll put us on minus nine. So there you go, guys. That is Lost Wages Casino. And that is Wild Hawk. Very nice course. And that is by a D-Dog. Really like that. And we didn't do do bad there either. So don't forget, guys. Look out for Thursday. I might have another video up for Thursday, to be honest. <coughs> we shall see. But Thursday, I think it's 6 p.m. GMT. Uh, or BST, British Standard Time, that I can the embargo list and I'll start just dropping content. But I'm going to do it in little segments. I'm going to do the, the tutorial first, then I'm going to go through the My Player, Character Creator, and things like that. So, again, guys, thanks for watching. Catch us again next time. And don't forget, look out for Thursday. Stay safe.